Today we're going to cook something that I, I do a lot, uh, maybe every couple of weeks or so. It's a, a version of Swiss Easy Beasy or you know chicken and rice. And I'm going to use uh, some uh, American ingredients for this. So uh, we're going to need chicken thighs and for four people, four nice big chicken thighs. And I use them, the chicken thighs with the bone in and the skin. If you don't like the skin, just get the skinless. Uh, but the skin tastes so good. Skin is so good. And you're going to see why we're going to need this. Then I have uh, 10 ounces of uh, frozen uh, peas, sweet peas. I have one big red bell pepper. An onion, we're probably going to use just half of this maybe. Then I have a, a little, some scallions here, what we're going to use for, for garnishing and, to, and put in. I have a, um, a head of garlic here. We're going to use half for the meal and half for the salad. Here, there's a cucumber for the for the cucumber salad. We're going to fix with it. Some sour, uh, cream. sour cream. And, uh, and now for, there's rice in there. And what I'm using is this yellow rice mix. And this is a, a 10 ounce pack as well, uh, uh, which is good enough for four people again. And it's going to fit all in one pan. This recipe. And then uh, um, I pepper. I'm going to use some red chili paste, the stuff that Jens and I have been using ever since we were children. It's called Sambal Ulek, and it's from Indonesia. We get the stuff on the internet uh, nowadays. Uh, it's just a red pepper paste. It's a red pepper paste. It's just, it's just basically something to make it hot. And, uh, and, and then we're going to use some salt. And that, that is pretty much the ingredient list. Let's start. Cheers. Cheers. Let's see if we can get through this. Oh, we will get through this. Let's start preparing the chicken. Now with the thighs, what I have to do is I have to turn them over and make a couple of cuts right here next to the bone. So it lays flat, see? I like to leave the bone in the chicken because it keeps everything well together and the for bone- For the flavor, right? For the flavor and it also keeps the chicken together when I, when I sear it. You're gonna see it? I'm gonna cut off this stuff here, but I'm gonna put it in the pan anyway. So I'm not gonna throw this away. But this way, the, the chicken lays nice and flat, and it doesn't it doesn't ball up like a, a thigh usually would. That way, we can get it done. That's a, a great neat trick. In, in a not very to get it really flat, right? Yeah, yeah. See this this way, they really flat. Okay. Yeah, that looks that looks really good because then, uh, yeah, you know what I mean. That's that's that is such a neat trick. It really is. It really is. Okay. It really is. It really is. It really is. So, and again, I'm gonna cut this off here. Super, that looks really good. But you still use the fat, right? Just I'm gonna put it in there anyway to render the, the fat because we're not gonna add any, any, any fat for the cooking. We are just gonna use the fat that's in the chicken. All right, just like that. And then once we're done with this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just add a little salt. It's a little much here. And we're going to use some pepper. Pretty rough. On both sides. And that's all it takes to prepare the chicken. Here I am. Uh, what I'm going to do is with the chicken, I have this this nice pan. It's a I'm using this every day. It's a nice big pan, and I'm going to use it on high to start out with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the chicken skin down into the pan. And 
like that. And then I'm gonna close this a little bit and just let it rest for a while. Uh, prepare this nice onion here. And what I'm gonna do is, what I usually do, I said just cut it in half, it's easier to peel that way, you know? And then I can just sort of peel this all off. All right. While I do the garlic, take a head of garlic. Get it apart. Start peeling it. didn't put any oil in the, in the pan with the chicken. It doesn't need any. We're gonna use just the fat that's under the skin to cook this whole this whole meal. We're not adding any fat. We're gonna add a, a little sprinkle of olive oil at the very end. That's all we're gonna do. So the chicken is nice sizzling here. That is the moment when we can just turn it down a little bit. I started it out on high and I'm gonna go you know between 10 and 8. We're gonna put it down on 4 now. You don't have to move it at all, just leave it the way it is. Turn on, oh God! Wow, these onions. Whew! They got it in there. But I killed it. Ow! God! All right. I'm just gonna cut around the bell pepper. It seems like a very easy way of getting, getting it done. Because then if that's all that's left, you know, so that makes it easy. Uh, Uwe likes these little Victorinox knives, and they are actually, I cook a lot with them as well. And now I have to put my glasses on. No. Ah, because I don't see a thing. <laughs> Make sure that you don't cut them too big in. Perfect. Wonderful. There's thin slices because they're not going to get much cooking time. They are too thick. This is Ube's meal, you know, I gotta be careful. Uh, he's very demanding, you know. Today I can play the role of a sous chef. <laughs> I don't have another sip of this. I'm gonna watch the end of this. <laughs> now, I'm gonna cut about half the garlic. And, uh, but, you know, the, you can crunch it, whatever you wanna do with it. I like cutting it up with that. Because I got enough time, I don't have to uh, worry about it. Or you, you can leave the garlic away, but it's a shame if you do. <laughs> but if you don't like garlic, the recipe works perfectly without it. Yeah, oh, onion still hurt. Good, okay. That was a tough onion. <laughs> I cut about three, four big cloves of garlic. Oh, maybe I'll give it another one. The rest of the garlic is for the end of the cucumber time. Eight minutes on the chicken. Let me, let me check it and see how it's doing. It doesn't have enough color yet, so we can, uh, yeah, we can wait for another few minutes. Okay. <laughs>
reverb in here. I want to, you know, it's like I'm, I'm spending a lot of time in the studio recording banjo and trying things. And if that, if I had that much reverb on the recording, I would try to turn it down. Put mm -hmm. the scale so you do it. Uh, I'm going to use the uh, the green part for garnish and the white part. I'm going to go with the onion. All right. Very simple.
Set this aside. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to need a spatula in. What? Something to stir with. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I think it's. I'm going to put the onions in here and the garlic. And I'm going to put a little bit of chili in there. Something like that. You like it kind of hot, right? Yes. All right, Liam, and if you can pass with the scallion too. Yes. And here's the scallion and the pepper. The pepper. Well, the pepper. We wait for a second until the onions get good. Some heat here. Turn the volume up. Uh -huh. Jim Allen asked me, does my stove have a volume button? Yep, your store has a volume button. Mine goes to 11. Well, <laughs> if it sizzles like that, you know, it's actually like a volume button. Would you say so? It is. You know, and, uh, you know, it, 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 and it becomes quiet. When it all of a sudden becomes quiet, then it's not good anymore. <laughs> I got one of these bottle openers that are full electric from my daughter for my birthday. But it's over there. <laughs> it's great. So, here we go. Ooh, I need some wine. Yes. So we need one cup of white wine. One cup of white wine. That's it. Mm. The onions have a little color now, and uh, I'm going to add the peppers now. And, hot. and what I also do is I add the rice now, funny enough. I just uh, I like to have the rice soaking up some of the juices that we have in here. So I'm going to use this whole pack of this yellow rice mix. Like I said, it's a 10-ounce pack that should be plenty for four people. But you could also make it yourself, right? You can make it yourself with the short grain rice. And if you have saffron, that would be wonderful. Mm -hmm. And if you, um, you can use it Indian style with curry, if you feel like it. So, once this is all nicely mixed up, I still have the temperature on high. I'm gonna leave it there until everything comes back to a bowl after we added the wine and the water. Add the wine? Uh, yeah, 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 absolutely. What a waste. Oh, there was more when you poured it. No, no, it's exactly one cup. Mm -hmm. I put the wine in first so, so I can boil off the alcohol. It's only going to take a few minutes. You can actually smell it. <sighs> All right. Now this rice mixture is going to take about 18 minutes to cook. So what we're going to do is, now it started, Jens, give me another cup and a half of water. Is this too much water? Oh, does it say a cup and a half? Yes, it says two cups actually. So, okay, so I know I couldn't see it. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that's good. I, yeah, I need this. Where is it? Okay, this helps. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, a cup and a half of water. Sit. Now this already starts to look good. Now we just wait a moment until it comes to a boil, and then we don't turn it on low. So what I'm doing now, while the rice is cooking, I'm gonna cut the chicken in half, lengthwise, okay? It's like that. So get more than, more than one piece. Come to a boil, I'm gonna put it down on low. Give it a quick stir so it doesn't sit. And I think we just have to be a little bit patient. All right, cucumbers out. And we use the Swiss peeler again. I know we <laughs> we bought 70 home from Switzerland and they got sold out over the weekend. So we're very, very happy you bought them because you gotta be happy with them because they're just fantastic. Now we're gonna get a lot more from Switzerland. We're very happy about that fact. So with this peeler, this is very easy. Um, it's nice, you know, if you peel them and then you, uh, you just maybe just leave a little bit somewhere along the line, you know? So, like that, you don't need to peel off everything. Mm -hmm. And then what, I, what, what we do with the, with the cucumber salad, you know, you could, uh, you can just cut them like that. take a second one because we're um, it's a lot of food and just gonna do that. Last week uh, somebody asked if you use a mandolin at all. We hardly ever use a mandolin. We have uh, uh, most of our things that we cut with knives actually and then we have some graters that we use. You know, some Swiss uh, roasty graters and, and vegetable graters, but the mandolin is most of the time is just too much work to clean up afterwards. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Cucumber sauce. Let's take the sour cream. Take any sour cream, and uh, yeah, it looks about right. That looks about right. And I take some white balsamic vinegar, mm -hmm. like that. And some pepper. And salt. I always put it in the hand first so I know how much salt I'm actually putting in. Um, then the rest of Uwe's nicely peeled uh, garlic, but I'm just going to put them through the press because, you know, that's fine. And for the press, you know, they don't necessarily need to be peeled. But it's actually nicer just to have it that way. So it's okay. And the cucumbers. I love cucumber salad. And you mix it right away. I mix it right away. Mm -hmm. Because it just sort of gives the flavor and everything gets into the cucumbers and the cucumber flavor gets into the sauce. And it's just, I mix it right away. Mix it all up. I know it looks a little messy, but it's... <laughs> I thought you got to play something while I do this. It's too lazy to play. Is it too lazy to play? Or did you have too much of that? I'm not going to say it. And we're going to try.
but my tombstone. I'm on the night cold. I'm on the night cold. Rolling buddy with that load of coal. How can I hold when the wheels won't go? They want hammer in this here kitchen. That rings like mine. Put the chicken in the pan without oil. about halfway done now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the chicken back in and the peas. Okay? I like using frozen peas. They come out perfectly well in a recipe like this. Well done. Can your tank of chair needs to get up a little bit?
my bark on the floor Feeling like a man Finally comes to me, and I drift across the sea through the loving arms of the lovers. If I could beg, steal, or borrow, a ticket on some old ship or plane, I'd leave all alone on the morrow, and I'd fly to my Who we just mentioned, you know, that you could actually, when you boil eggs in the morning, uh, it, it, you know, once the water is boiling, you got the eggs in, and you want, you know, hard boiled eggs or soft boiled eggs, you can play certain tunes that have the length of three and a half minutes or four minutes or even five minutes. You know, for Appalachian Concerto, it's going to be hard boiled eggs, but <laughs> let's say for a shorter piece like the one we had, it's quite a soft boiled egg, you know. But so timing could be done. With instruments. instruments. <laughs> if you like the music we play, we, we actually, if you don't know us uh, that well, we have uh, a library actually pretty much on our uh, okay. YouTube, YouTube and Facebook. Well, over 60 shows that we did, not cooking shows, music shows, where we just play uh, music. And we have uh, uh, many shows with uh, Joel Landsberg playing bass and Joey playing percussion with us, you know, down in the studio. And uh, so actually this cook show is not really what we do, we're musicians. And uh, so if you want to check that out, that would be great. You know, go to our Facebook, Kruger Brothers Facebook, and uh, see what kind of shows we got. Maybe you like it. Yes. Yeah. And also, if you like uh, the Kruger Brothers, go to our Kruger Brothers website. We just have a Kruger Brothers website. We will sell all our, our CDs. Well, we have, uh, you know, potato peelers that we sell sometimes. <laughs> We're going to get more. <laughs> and, um, and also, we also do have a tip jar. So if you feel like helping us along with our production, uh, that would be very nice if we could see you there. But it's not, it's not a must, you know. If you, if you feel like su supporting us a little bit, that would be very nice. <laughs> the, the menu today, including the wine and the cucumbers and the sour cream and everything, was just around $20, so it's affordable. We, tr we try to cook something that's easy to cook, that you can do anytime in the, in, during the week. It only takes about 45 minutes to cook all together, including preparation, and it's a really wonderful meal. Two pieces are good for me, four pieces are good for you. already cut the piece. I, I already cut them lengthwise. Ah, okay. Yeah, already, yeah, 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 sure, sure, mm -hmm. sure, sure. Yeah. I'm the hungry. The thing about this recipe is that you could just let it sit now for 20 minutes, half an hour, whatever. It doesn't have to be eaten right away. The longer you let it sit, the better it gets, actually. But I'm going to add some scallion now on top. And I'm going to serve it right in the pot on the table. 
can do the, the plate like this. So you can just take a piece of chicken, take that out first, put it on here, add a little bit more rice, and that should make a nice portion right there. You can always go and get some more. I think you can, you can put the cucumber salad yeah. in the same plate, you know, because it looks nice and mm -hmm. it's actually good. You know, if you don't like it, you can always put it on a, on a, a mm -hmm. different plate, but this is it. It's really good. Now, what's the name of this recipe again? Well, I just call it chicken and rice, mm. but... Rice is my favorite. I'm gonna try the rice first, okay? Mm. I really like the way the wine and the chili paste mix together. It's fantastic. Oh, it's fantastic. Let's try the chicken. Mm, look at that. Chicken's very tender. Look at that. So what do we say in Switzerland? Anguette. We say anguette. Can you say that, Melissa? Anguette? Yes, that's exactly what we say. Bon appetit. Enjoy your meal. Very good. Thank you very much for joining us again this week. Uh, this was our Swiss chicken and rice, an easy beasy Spanish style. Hope you like it. Uh, well, we, we enjoyed being in the kitchen again and Uwe brought this wonderful recipe to my home. So this is wonderful. Uh, we hope uh, you're gonna try this too. Let us know how it works out. And we'll see you Friday, Saturday for our regular music show. Yes, thank you so much. Thank we you. love you, don't forget that. <laughs>